This is a video only for my students because I don't have a website where to upload the Excel file. This is a file for practicing calculating Bayes' theorem and also signal detection theory. So let's look here at the first problem. The uh, assumption is there is a detection rate of 99%, a force alarm, uh, alarm rate of 7%, and a base rate of 1%. And this is all within the context of uh, medical diagnosis. So everything is uh, expressed in terms of the probability of being ill given a positive test result. So assuming that there is some condition uh, being tested in a population or someone from a population where that condition exists at a 1% rate, that base rate here, there is a positive test result with a detection rate of 99% and a force alarm rate of 7%. What is the probability that that person is actually ill given that positive test result? And there are several pages in this Excel file. So let's go to this one here. So let's say that uh, you assume a population of 10,000 people. Then 1% of these, which is 100, and I chose 10,000 exactly because 1% would be 100, so that we get nice round numbers. So 1%, 100 people out of those 10,000 actually have whatever condition it is. And then 9,900 don't. Then out of those 100, 99, so hang on, if we just write that down, so 1% here, 99% here, 7% here, just to remember it. So 99% of these 100 are being spotted. So that is 99 here and one is being missed. And that color code again corresponds to the one I've used in previous videos, including the one on signal detection theory. Then we have a 7% force alarm rate. So we need 7% of these 9,900 if you don't want to calculate it in your head in that excel file of course you could just say that it equals nine equals this number here times this so now we have a total of 792 positive test results of which 99 are from people who are actually ill and 693 are from false alarms, from people who are not ill. And so then the probability of being ill given a positive test is this year divided by the sum of the two, so divided by this. The probability of being healthy given a positive test is 0.875. And you can also calculate the odds of a positive test, which is the probability of being ill given a positive test, divided by the probability of being healthy, giving a positive test. So that would be the posterior odds. I encourage you to do it like that because that is what you will do when you haven't got my um, Excel spreadsheet available. Then, so that you can control whether you got it right, Oh, and of course, here you should actually, in principle, fill in if you there, if you are, there are other calculations you want to make. So that here would be equals that here minus that. So then we can also go into here. So let's make that the same thing. So 10,000 people. Then we have a base rate of 1%, a detection rate of 99%, 7%. And we get the same numbers. So here, all you need to do is specify the total population, type in the base rate, and you get these things. That exists so that you have a check on whether you got this calculation right uh, and which numbers should go where. It's not something you should use for practice because obviously if all you do is just type in here, then you don't get much practice. So then, what we've got is in the problem then the this here was 0.125 oh hang on that's in percent so that would be 12.5 percent 
then the next question is what is d prime and d prime as you may remember is defined as a z score of the true positive rate the hit rate and minus the z score of the false alarm rates so if we look at that we have a detection rate of 99 percent if we go into here so we get a detection rate of 99 percent that here is the detection rate the area here under this curve so i can move here the criterion until we get here the hit rate where is it again um oh yes of course here the hit rate of 99 percent so here i'm a little bit low let's go a little bit oops let's go a little bit up see whether yes okay here i've got the 99 percent next we have a false alarm rate of seven percent now i can't move the criterion because that needs to stay fixed uh, relative to this average here so that we keep our detection rate so what i need to do is move this average here until we've got a, a false alarm rate of seven percent and here that blue area is a false alarm rate so that is clearly uh, too large also what we then can see is the z score of the true positives uh, is uh, oh sorry i said um, I, I got the formula wrong is z score of the false alarms minus the z score of the true positives so that is minus 2.33 and then the next thing is to move this here until we get to a false alarm rate of seven percent so let's see how close we can get to that that's about it and so that tells us then that here we have a z score of 1.47 and a d prime of 3.8 right so that gives us our 99 percent false alarm rate one percent miss our seven percent false alarms and 93 percent correct rejections now again normally you will not have uh, my program available for calculating this so the way you do it here is you look up the z scores here so you look up the z score for a 99 for 99 percent that is here so that is minus 2.33 so if you go in here minus 2.33 then a z score associated with a seven percent false alarm rate so we're now looking for seven percent that is here here it's minus 1.48 go back minus 1.48 so for my program we got 1.47 uh, these are rounding errors the difference between them so then this here is the z score of the false positives so how much is the threshold above that average that is positive here we've got a negative number how far is that below the average so minus the z score of the true positives minus the minus 2.33 so that is those two uh, added up together so that would be here in this case um, 3.81 then the next question is what happens if you shift the criterion half a standard deviation up so we can do that here so that means we go here to uh, st uh, we shift the criterion so that this z score here becomes 1.97 and this here becomes minus 1.83 so i'll try that minus 1.83 well, that's probably as close as i can get so we still have the same d prime of course because i haven't changed where the averages are i've only changed this here so this is now um, a different trade-off in terms of the costs and benefits of the different errors and the different correct uh, decisions and uh, then the question is with that new definition of what it takes to get a positive test result what is now the probability of being ill so if we now look this up the new detection rate of 
um, minus 1.83. So we're looking now here in this column here, in the column of the z scores, we look for minus 1.83. And so that is in between those here and that should be about then 96.5 roughly so we can go back to the problems and we can put in 96.5 and that of course is minus 1.83 the new z score of the false alarm rate uh, here it is oh sorry that should have been positive so the new z score here is 1.98 because that is the 1.48 plus 0.5 then associated with a z-score of 1.98 so now I'm looking for 1.98 uh, right so that is pretty close to this here so we are just uh, take that as the closest number uh, is um, a deep, uh, force alarm rate of 2.275. So now I make that here 2.275 and so what have I got again? 96.5 detection rate and 2.275 force alarm rate. So, because we have that 0.5 in here, let's make that a population of, oops, 20,000. Then we have 200 people here and so 96.5 and 2.275 so then we have here equals this year times 0.965 that's 193 people and this year is the remaining seven and then here we have the 2.275 okay that's not quite a whole number now but we now have a new probability so with our uh, criterion where we have reduced the number of false alarms at the expense of getting more misses uh, so with that uh, a new criterion the probability of being ill given a positive test because the number of false alarms so the proportion of false alarms has gone down quite a bit because it's a proportion of oh hang on that is wrong uh, that is 19,800 right still we have now uh, because this here is a large number uh, we have here uh, a smaller proportion so now the probability of being ill given a positive test